Right, we're back on the bank. I am at Acorn Fishery, not far from Bristol, just south of Bristol. Um, I've come here for literally an overnighter. I've paid um, 15 quid. Basically, I think it's seven till seven you can do, but I got here um, about quarter to eight after um, spending a, I spent last night on a club lake fishing out the new van. Just wanted to give it a go, to be honest. And um, today I've decided to come up here just for the night, I've got to be back tomorrow because I've got um, got to be in for a couple of deliveries as I've got the bloggers match this weekend. And um, I also had to drop the missus off back down to work. She left a car key at work after um, going out after work for um, a bit of food and a drink with her dad. So um, she ended up realizing she'd left that in work. So I had to drop her down into town, um, sent her to Bristol and um, I left her luckily to get the bus home because otherwise I wasn't going to get her in time. So I've literally turned up about quarter to 10 to eight and um, I've just chucked the stuff into the hut. I am in swim five, not fished this swim. I fished, I think number three, um, which I fished with Hugh for our Christmas um, video. And I've not been back here since, so it's been quite a while. Um, we are start of August, um, first week in August this is. So um, weather's not looking too bad, it's been, um, a little bit wet in that today but it's still very warm and um, it's been a bit sunny this evening but anyway I'm gonna let talk um, in a bit once I'm sorted and let you know what I've done um, I'm gonna just flick a couple of rods out I think keep it nice and simple a couple of little bags maybe and maybe put a couple of pouches of bait over them and leave it at that it's pretty much boily only here so it keeps it pretty easy to be fair so anyway I'm gonna crack on get some rods sorted and let's get fishing Right, so as I've said, I'm at Acorn, I haven't been here for a while. Um, I've dropped into a, oh, that's another fish just rolled. Oh. And on that note, I've seen a few fish roll, which is awesome. That's probably the fourth show I've seen now. Um, I've dropped into swim five, uh, mainly because it had a hut and the bailiff said it was a good area at the moment, it's been producing some fish. And I'll be honest, based on the fact that I've so far seen four fish roll over the top of the area that I've just put two rods out, um, I'm feeling pretty good about that, so happy days. Um, so all I've done is fish about not a bit more than three quarters away across the island. I'm not right on the island. I'm sort of off of it where I think the shelf is. Um, I've then just spread about three or four handfuls of um, S7 and SLK, just a 50-50 combo. Um, I've got two Ronnies. Um, one's on a orange, one's on a yellow. And um, I've actually put some fly back leads and also back leads on just to keep the lines down out of the way. It's a very uniform lake, this. Um, so actually you can fish bat leads. These are kind of lakes that bat leads were designed for, but a pretty flat and consistent depth. So you can put a bat lead out sort of off the rod top and you get a sort of a decent line lay all the way across to where the hook baits are. Also it means if you get any fish, you've got less chance of picking up on the other rods, which is quite nice as well. Um, I've also dropped one down to the right. Um, I've seen a fish roll down to the right. It's a lovely little bay between me and the next swim. And um, I flicked a little solid bag down there and just put a handful of the, um, the house pellet over the top of it and a couple of um, couple of baldies, not too many, sort of 20, 30, something like that. Um, and that is it, pretty straightforward. Um, you're restricted on bait here, you can literally only feed boilies um, or you can use the house pellet and the house maize, which obviously they, they sell themselves here, um, just so that they know they're putting good quality food into the place. Um, it used to be a lot different, you could pretty much use anything. Um, they didn't have any bait restrictions, but I think they're looking at the welfare of the fish and the way that the water is going and that. They've recently done a lot of work on it and desilted the lake. It's a lot deeper now, a lot more room for the fish, and I imagine they want the fish to have decent food to grow so that people are going to be fishing for bigger fish. So it's a, definitely a plus, definitely a good good thing to do. My syndicate's the same, you know, a lot of the embryo waters are the same. It's sort of boilie pellet only, especially at this time of year. Um, they do have the difference in that in the winter you can use particles. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Um, like I said, I've seen some fish roll, I'm feeling confident. Um, all I need is it to go off now, I guess. So anyway, I'm gonna have a few of these, put on a bit of food, chill out for a few hours, and hopefully, when the rods are go banging off. 
see what happens. Okay, that's boiling. Um, let's put that back down. So unfortunately, nothing's happened. Um, it has been a quiet night on the uh, fish front. Um, I was up till um, quite late, to be honest. Um, probably about two o'clock editing. Um, there's a little table um, that's been tucked in the corner over there. I pulled that out and um, sat that in front of the bed chair for a bit and. Um, just had the laptop on it and set doing a bit of editing, which was actually really nice. You know, if you um, work off of a computer or um, you like me, you sort of create vlogs and, vi and videos um, and you want somewhere to come, maybe do a bit of a catch up, then um, this is definitely a good place to come get your rods out and catch up on any work you need to do. Because um, it's very easy having a little table and a little hut. It's a lot easier than uh, trying to do it while it's on your lap, balanced under, um, Balanced under the tempest. Kit's at the top of the path. Just got the uh, rods out now. Unfortunately, I have got to bring them in. So um, it's been a quiet night. Didn't have anything really to report. Unfortunately, um, I've had a big um, liner this morning. An actual rod top pulled round. I thought the rod was away, but um, nothing's materialised. I've actually recast two of the rods this morning onto um, Sherman fish and some bubbling that I've seen. But yeah, unfortunately. It's not happened, but um, anyway, it was only a quick overnighter, so not a lot really to film, as it was a case of getting the rods out, getting some food on, chilling out for a bit, and then uh, getting a bit of sleep. So I haven't really had a lot to film, so it's quite a short little uh, vlog, but um, hopefully you've liked it, give you a bit of an idea of what this place is like. I'll be honest, I um, caught more when I come here for a winter day session, um, start of the year, so or end of last year. So um, definitely um, plenty of bikes to be had, but um, I just haven't had long enough, I don't think, to try and get one. But definitely fish in the area. I'm surprised I haven't had one. Um, I really am, but that is fishing at the end of the day. So anyway, hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to bring the rods in. So um, if you like it, give it a like, obviously. Uh, give it a share. Uh, subscribe if you're um, new to the channel. And I'm bringing you some uh, videos again soon. Um, but anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're getting out, be lucky. And um, see you next time, Turtle Lines.